Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, November 4th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Unsworth for Longmont Public Media. We have a last quarter moon coming out of the full moon on Halloween, Sunday, November 8th. Taking a look at drought conditions, last week we had pretty severe drought, or about the worst drought you can get, over the western slopes, up in the central mountains, and out on the plains. We got the snow and rain last week, and that took a little notch out along the front range and down in the southern part of the state. It's not much. We need a lot more water consistently than that. Looking nationally, the long-term drought is kind of expanding Arizona, Four Corners area, out into West Texas and New Mexico. Looking back just seven days, missing our last storm, Fort Collins, Longmont, Denver, Colorado Springs, high and dry, a little bit of rain down near the Oklahoma Panhandle area. So the pattern that we have is we're back to the ridge, uh, the middle part of this week here. So we have temperatures reaching and exceeding record levels. We almost broke 80, which would have been the first um, for the month. But we did stay in the upper 70s with this really strong ridge. It just keeps coming back. Air flows coming out of the west and then curving down into the plains behind this departing trough. That's what gave us clouds on Tuesday and a little bit of high based rain that evaporated long before it reached the ground. Looking at that moisture we can see the front kind of being swept along with that. A little bit of tropical moisture down south, a little bit of Pacific moisture up north, but it's not much right now. The smoke forecast, we saw some fires in Central California, but around here things are still very quiet. We get a little bit of that smoke just coming around and past, but for the most part we are breathing clean air again and it's nice to show this map. Okay, looking out the next 10 days, our normal high temperature of 57 drops pretty dramatically to 52 in just the next 10 days. The low at night normal is 29 dropping to 25. Here's our tremendously above normal Temperatures going here. This still doesn't do justice to it. It says 70 for Thursday, or probably mid 70s up here. So yeah, this is the ridge is doing what it was doing in the summer, just a November version of it. Then we get a cold front coming in on Saturday. That gives us our first chance of showers. And then the low kind of rotates around in the west, and we'll see that in just a moment. And just bringing more cold air in, and we actually go down to below normal. So above to below normal, we stay down there, bottomed out for much of the next week. Quite chilly. You see high temperatures in the 30s and 40s. It'll be colder on Monday than the ensemble showing. Another chance of rain there. Another chance of rain later in the week. So this is good. This is good to get some cool air and moisture. We don't want anything to reignite up in the mountains. So. The pattern we're seeing for Monday for that big cool down is this big kind of sloppy trough plowing into the mountains and it kind of hangs out here for a while so we're not going to see a lot of change. This is tropical system Ada uh, doing a little scare on Florida there. It's going to try to stay under the ridge and you can see these kind of uh, easterly winds to the north of it, so it might loop back in. We'll take a look at that. We can see it coming off of Central America, heading over Cuba, getting to the Florida Keys, and then probably going a little bit back to the northwest into the Gulf. But it remains pretty weak. That's tropical storm uh, strengths at this point on into Monday next week. So let's take a look at the animation here. Here comes our trough. For Friday into Saturday, digging down to California, into Utah, another lobe of it kind of rotating around here, and then that starts to move in on Monday. And here comes Tuesday, the trough is starting to reconnect and move out. Wednesday, and then Wednesday noon, here comes Thursday, another trough comes in. It's keeping its energy a little further north, but it's enough to give us that third batch of showers. And we go on into Saturday the 14th, middle of the month, and we got another trough under the ridge traveling past the state to the south. So, yeah, we're going to get a little more act 
activity and things to watch. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of moisture. So if you take a look at the future radar, so to speak, I uh, see that the low comes in on Saturday. Here's our first batch of showers, some snow in the mountains. That departs pretty quickly. That second lobe forms, and we get a little bit of showers in the mountain passing by on Monday into Tuesday. Things dry out until that third passing system to the north brings a little bit of shower activity in. But it's not a big storm in any of these uh, waves at this time. Temperatures definitely drop though. You can see the above normal pinks and reds right now going into the end of the week into Saturday. Here comes the cold down the west coast, flooding straight east. Really strong cold front punching down on Monday. And then the whole state's under uh, abnormally below or abnormally low temperatures going on to Wednesday next week. Some really cold air up here in Canada, and then that spreads down for the Thursday, Friday period and into next weekend. So we're cooling down and we're going to stay cold for a while. So over the next 10 days, the amount of liquid precipitation that the GFS gives us along I-25 is pretty meager. It's in the 500th of an inch to a quarter inch area. You can see some great mountain and western slope rains, and we'll take that. Looking at snow, they kind of rob the lower elevations of snow, thinking that the temperatures may be too warm down at 5,000 feet or so. But the mountains get some significant snow up here. That's uh, up to a foot in spots in the front range, western slopes, and the southern Rockies. So good news there. Looking at the next seven days, there's our abnormal heat going into Saturday. We begin the cool down Saturday into Sunday, and then the bottom drops out with 20s, possibly as a high. We may even see single digits as a low. We'll see showers coming in Saturday night. And then maybe some snow, rain mix through this time period, we'll see. A low that kind of cuts off like that, as I've said before, can change uh, how it interacts with our area and give us a lot colder and even tap more moisture than it looks like in some model runs. So it could, could be something more significant, maybe more uh, snow here. But, so I have to take a look at the uh, Longmont leader for frequent weather updates to keep an eye on this system as it moves in and the pattern changes. This has been the weather forecast for Longmont and northeastern Colorado. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.